So I've got an X10A running a 2.1 and I'm going to show you how to downgrade to 1.6 using the latest flash tool. So to start, go to the thread on XDA that has all the different uh, decrypted ROMs and download the appropriate ROM. There's 2.1 uh, and there's 1.6. So for 1.6 there's X10A for America or X10I for international. Make sure you get the right ROM. When you've downloaded the ROMs and extracted, you'll have two zip files. Uh, extract them one by one. When you extract the second one, it's going to it's going to ask you to um, overwrite a file, and uh, don't overwrite because you need the you need the line from the second XML file. So I'm going to name it X update two. So now you've got two XML files. Open them up in uh, a text editor. And in the second file, copy that line into the first file. So you now have a total of three lines. Next, rename the update.sin with all the firmware, use, uh, sorry, user data, to uh, just user data.sin and save it. Next, you're going to rename boot.sin to kernel and then rename the system and user data just remove the uh, extra information about the firmware so it's just system.sin and user data.sin so when you're done all that copy the files minus the zip file and the second update file into the firmware folder of the latest flash tool so the flash tool is available on XDA and this latest flash tool fixes problems with 64-bit uh, systems and it allows you to flash 1.6 firmwares in instead of just the uh, 2.1 so now that you're done all that go into your DOS prompt and type in X10 flash it's going to ask you for X10 which is 1 and always wipe your data so yes and I'm using a 64-bit system so I'm going to press yeah 4 and it's going to wait for me to connect the Xperia. So now you're going to connect in flash mode. What I do is plug it in, hold the back button, and then insert the battery. It's going to go into flash mode, and the X10 flash tool will pick it up, and we're just going to start a stopwatch up here. So this takes about uh, three to four minutes. And we're done. Press any key, and we're done. So now just unplug. And I remove the battery just to be safe. To back in and uh, hold the power button until you feel it vibrate. As, al as always, the first time it boots up, it's going to take a while as it uh, rebuilds and uh, does everything in the background.
and as you can see you're back to 1.6 And 3G works. Yep. And that's how you downgrade back to 1.6.